Hi guys, this is Coach Hugo from the Kenya Experience. Welcome back. So we're here in Iten, Kenya. This is actually very close to where I live. Um, this is where we do our training if you come here on the Kenya Experience. So today we're going to show you some hill sprints. Uh, hill sprints are a great workout. Um, I give it to almost all of my athletes throughout the year. It's a great way of recruiting more muscle fibers just like what we did when we did the squats in the gym, the weightlifting. Uh, that's another video from us. So what we do when we do hill sprints, just like with the squats, we work on the neuromuscular connection, right? I've been telling you that in another video. Uh, when we run, we actually use only part of our muscle fibers. So if we teach our body to use more muscle fibers, we can get stronger, we can get more power, more powerful, get bigger strides. Yeah, and that's going to help us to run faster, right? So we're going to do hill sprints, which means 10 seconds, minimum of eight seconds, full speed uphill, no holding back, no going like 70%, 80%, 90% effort, going full speed, taking two minutes rest. That way we don't build up any, any lactate. Yeah, you don't actually get tired from it. We go full speed uphill and we focus on being powerful, having a good impact on the ground. Uh, having a short contact time so it's like popping up from the ground we don't try to stick to the ground with our feet yeah because that's another big difference between professional runners and amateur runners professional runners have a very short contact time on the ground so the strength that you have to, we try to create the maximum impact on the ground in a split second yeah so when running uphill try to stay tall use your arms engage your core and run up in a powerful way so not trying to get high frequency not trying even to you know reach the finish line as fast as you can but trying to run up as fast as you can while keeping good form and running in a powerful way okay so we're going to show you some hill sprints we've got a great hill here uh, people ask me what percentage should it be rather than talking about the percentage i feel like it should be a level of inclination that's hard enough for you to feel like you're working for it. Um, but it shouldn't be so steep that you're losing form. It should not be a pure strength training. It shouldn't be too steep. Yeah, in case of doubt, you better have a little bit flatter hill. But it definitely should be steep enough to feel like you're working hard, right? Um, so Collins is going to show us some hill sprints. Yeah, you ready for it? Absolutely. Okay. Let's yes. do it. He has warmed up, he has made a few strides. Yeah, you never do this when you're cold. So, let's go for it. All right. I'll just start from... Yeah, you start from down there, I think. Yeah. Like, you can take a few meters, like, rolling into it. Right. And then, once you reach, like, the bottom of the hill, you go all out. Okay. Yeah? yeah? And you know what to think about then. Eh? Always think about the running form, so powerful way. Head up, stay tall. Use your arms, engage your core muscles, okay. and your feet popping off the ground. Okay. okay. Like for up to like up there, right? Yeah, like 10 seconds. Okay. I'll whistle. Okay. Right. Puff! Okay! Okay, that was good, uh, Collins. Just uh, one thing. You started great, but the last part you lost a little bit the focus and the form, so just make sure you stay focused until the finish line. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's just 10 seconds, so try to give everything in those 10 seconds. Okay. Yeah? Alright. Okay, we've got 2 minutes and 10 seconds rest, so you can go again. Okay. Yup! Uh, so when do we do these hill sprints? We normally don't do it like uh, as a whole workout. I would give this the day before a workout actually. So for instance when Tuesday you have a session on the track or it can be a lactic threshold session. Then the day before Monday is a great day for doing some hill sprints. It can actually help you have a better workout the next day. It's like you prime your muscles. You get your muscles ready for the next day. They have a little bit more tension. They're like woken up a bit. Um, that's anyway the explanation I give to it so I feel like many of my athletes 
they do well the day after doing hill sprints. So we do it the day before a workout. We do it throughout the year. Um, the long distance runners focus a lot on doing the hill sprints throughout the year. Middle distance runners like the 1500 meter athletes, they at some point stop doing the hill sprints and they start making flat sprints on the track. Yeah, but for anyone from like 5k and above, we focus a bit more on the hill sprints. Yeah, perfect. So it's like that. Yeah, and make sure you take two minutes break. If you take a two minutes break, you don't build up any tiredness. You don't build up lactate, right? So you will not feel anything tomorrow. You can still have a great workout tomorrow. And uh, like I said, this is great the day before a lactic threshold session or a tempo run. Um, doesn't uh, cost you any other workout. So you don't have to do this to replace a workout. You're doing it actually as an extra session. Yeah, so when you have workouts on like Tuesday, Friday, Sunday, we'll do this on a Monday or a Thursday. Yeah. So to sum it up, hill sprints are a great form of training to recruit more muscle fibers, to get stronger, to get more power. This is not just for middle distance runners or sprinters. This is just as much for long distance runners, anyone who runs 10k, half marathon, even full marathon. If you look at the professional runners, many of the, them are doing this throughout the year. It's a great way of working on your base uh, because even though you're running 42k, you're still, even then, even more than probably, you know, because you're doing a lot of like easy sessions, moderate sessions, sessions at marathon pace, you still want to stimulate your body in a different way by doing something like hill sprints and doing something like squats to work on that neuromuscular connection reminding your brain that there are more muscle fibers available actually and um, that's what you're actually doing when you're doing the hill sprints so i do this with my runners throughout the year they never stay for like three weeks without any hill sprints it's something we do all the time um, we do it the day before a workout uh, sometimes we do it before the actual workout so you may do the hill sprints and then follow it up by the workout or you may do it on a Monday afternoon and then on Tuesday the workout, something like that. Um, uh, the only thing that you don't do is like you don't do the hill sprints early in the morning. You have to make sure your muscles are ready for it, your whole body is ready for it. So you don't want to do this like at you know 7 in the morning. If you do it in the morning, do it at 9, 10 o'clock after you've waken up maybe at 7 o'clock so you're awake for some hours because you're, you have to be ready for it, right? So you have to be awake for at least two hours, do some warming up, do some strides, do the hill sprints, like between six and 10 repetitions, and then some cool down, that's it. We're looking forward to meet you here in Kenya with the Kenya experience. We've got great hills here. For Kenyans, running in the hills is like a natural thing. You know, they do it all the time. We've got so many hills here, short hills, long hills, steep hills, not so steep hills. You've got hills that go for like five miles, you know, you've got hills that go for like 100 meters. So when you come here, we'll show you all that. And um, running in the hills, whether it's short hill sprints or longer hills, intervals, it's one of the probably most underestimated forms of training, it can have really great impact on your running form. So welcome, hope to see you here and uh, run in the hills with us.